Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for September 23rd, 2011 on the S&P 5 day chart. Looks like we have Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, and the close could, be the, could have been the start of a 4. If we can get a standard 4, um, we need to retrace to 1145 on the S&P. If we can reach 1145, that'd be 4, and then we'd probably get a 5th wave down to complete the 5 wave impulse. But it looks pretty clear cut right now. It's like Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, possible 4, and then 4 or 5 down. NASDAQ. Uh, in order to get a corrective 4, we need to get to at least uh, 2490. If you're going to retrace to 2490, that would be 0.382 of the drop from 2605 to 2420. A 0.32 retracement could mean that um, the downward 3 is over, and the worst case scenario is that we get a fifth wave down to complete the 5 wave impulse. Well, it's pretty clear cut. <clears throat> it's like wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, and the close of possible 4. So if we can gap up to 2490, and the futures are up about. Uh, Eight in the uh, Nasdaq, so there's a chance we can get to 2490 before five down for the Dow. And basically, this could be uh, if we get five waves down, this could be another bottom. So be prepared for the Dow. Looks like wave one, wave two, wave three. A wave four would retrace it to around 10,880 and 10,900. If we can get to those levels and drop another fifth wave down. I'll probably buy the fifth wave down, and then um, there's a good there's a chance. I mean, crash of '87 had the same formation. We had a it was like a it's like a double bottom fifth wave. We uh, hit the the lows twice, right on the number, and formed a hammer. And um, if you look at the th uh, three month chart of the Nasdaq, the daily chart, there's a hammer candle. Look at the yeah, excuse me, candlestick. Yeah, there's a there's a gap down hammer candle, so um, we got the same thing in um, in crash of '87. Yeah, the same formation. I think the dot. Look at the Dow. Yeah, the Dow. Yeah, we had the um, we had a gap down hammer candle like uh, in the crash of '87. Crash of '87 happened, and then we we went sideways for a while. We tested the low, and then that was it. So there's a chance that if if we get a strong rally tomorrow. And, or at least get a four before a five down. I'll buy the fifth wave because there's a chance we, that, that we can that we can get a, a double bottom. I hate to call it double bottoms, but this is what happened. Crash of '87. That's a wrap.